Davis now is also his non is a former FBI special agent. And more now on those two American men killed who were longstanding members of al-Qaeda. Ahmed Farouk was well known to intelligence officials, but not the general public. The propagandist Adam Gadan was from California and was featured in some of al-Qaeda's earliest videos. NPR's counterterrorism correspondent Dina Templerestin reports. Before the January attacks on an al-Qaeda compound near the Afghanistan-Pakistan border, intelligence officials believed with near certainty that a major al-Qaeda leader had set up shop there. U.S. officials tell NPR that while it wasn't clear who the leader was, the way al-Qaeda was protecting him suggested he was important. Officials say he indeed did turn out to be a key al-Qaeda operative, born in the United States. In mid-January, the al-Qaeda leadership announced the death of Ahmed Farouk, who was a deputy head of their new al-Qaeda in the Indian subcontinent. Richard Baird is a senior vice president at the Sufan Group and used to track al-Qaeda for British intelligence. He was a pretty, pretty important person considered by Osama bin Laden himself as an up-and-comer. He was mentioned in some of the letters found in the bin Laden compound in Pakistan. Bin Laden wrote that he ought to be considered for membership in al-Qaeda's main governing body, its Shura Council. Better known in the U.S. was this man. Cease all interference in the religion society, politics, and governance of the Muslim world, and leave us alone. That's Adam Gadon, a pudgy 30-something who transformed himself from a Southern California heavy metal rock enthusiast to an al-Qaeda media director. It was unclear when he actually joined the terrorist group officially or when he started calling himself Azam the American, but he certainly got the attention of U.S. officials with pronouncements like this. A single word of American protest? shall be silenced by a thousand Islamic bombs. My name is Juan Zarati. I'm the former Deputy National Security Advisor for Combating Terrorism. Gadan was one of the people counterterrorism officials like Zarati kept tabs on. He didn't have an operational role in al-Qaeda, but he put a Western face on what the group was doing. And he was also close to Osama bin Laden. You did see correspondence between Gadan and bin Laden uh, surrounding propaganda and overarching strategy. And you saw uh, Ayman al-Zawahiri, uh, then al-Qaeda's number two and, and now its leader, actually offering open support for Gadan and his mission and uh, explaining to American audiences that they needed to listen. But both of these men, Gadan and Farouk, killed in separate drone strikes, were American. Gadan lived in Orange County, California until his early 20s. Farouk was born in the U.S. and moved to the Middle East when he was still a child. And that presents a problem for the White House. The summary killing of Americans would violate the Fifth Amendment, which guarantees due process to U.S. citizens accused of crimes. Officials went to great lengths to say they didn't know that either man was present when they ordered the attacks. Dina Temple Raston, NPR News.